Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel. Today I wanted to tell you all about my most favorite program on the Linux desktop. So I'm going to let you wonder for a moment here. Is it Emacs? Is it Vim? No, nah, it's neither one of these, man. It is by far, by a landslide, SCT. Now, what's SCT, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you. That there is SCT, screen color temperature. And why do I like this program? Well, for one, this program is a command line application. And you know you can never go wrong with the CLI. Uh, it makes you look cool, it makes you look like a hacker and everything. But all that aside, why do I think screen color temperature is so important? I think that this is so important to have on any system. And you know this of course is on every system now anyways. Windows, Mac, all the phone operating systems. They have this utility and there's a very good reason behind it. The reason being that by changing the screen color temperature of your screen, especially to make it a little oranger, like we have right here, you can actually reduce eye strain, but more importantly, it can help you not have as much trouble falling asleep. Growing up, I always had problems falling asleep. And I think the reason I had so much trouble falling asleep was just because I was on screens late at night and screens happen to emit all sorts of light, especially blue light. And what does blue light mean to your brain? It means, wake up, it's daytime. And this is part of your circadian rhythm. It's sort of a normal thing. You know, when, it's, when the natural daylight is outside, you're exposed to blue light. And when the sun sets, you're exposed to less blue light. So when you have blue light, you should be awake. When you don't have as much blue light, your body should be sort of settling down, getting ready to fall asleep. So this allows you to continue working on the computer later at night and forego some of the negative effects of the blue light, which may keep you up at night. So if you have trouble sleeping, this may be something that helps you. And I would encourage you to definitely look into this on all operating systems, all screens that you're looking at, especially late at night. <clears throat> now, What's going on with SCT here? Why do I give SCT a number? Well, there's sort of a history, uh, scientific history, around this idea of color temperature. And it actually has to deal with astronomy. So here I am putting my uh, physics degree to good use here. In astronomy and astrophysics, one of the ways you classify stars is by their temperature. Uh, you have like class O stars, A stars, B stars, um, so on and so on. Um, I believe our sun is like a class G star, or it's like F or G or something like that. <clears throat> um, but in any case, the hottest stars, like the O stars and the A stars, they tend to be bluer in color, as opposed to some of the less hot stars, the cooler stars, maybe getting down to like the class K stars, those are redder in color. And so you can sort of see where we're going with this. If you tell your screen to be a to pretend to be a certain temperature of sunlight, it will either be oranger, redder, or bluer. Uh, now, our uh, what we're passing into this thing here is a temperature in kelvins, and I believe our sun is something like uh, 5,700 or so. It's like around 5,000 uh, and some change. Um, so essentially. If you give a number that is lower than the 5,000-ish mark, um, like 2,000, for example, here, that'll make it even uh, oranger, Th those low numbers make the screen orange, which this is the kind of coloring you want if you are you know, up late at night and you don't, uh, working on your computer and you don't want to be kept up after you get off the computer. Um, of course, you can do the opposite of this, which I'm not going to do, but if you're like, you know, pulling an all nighter on that uh, project, that essay that you've been, you know, procrastinating for weeks on end and, you know, you're just falling asleep at the keyboard, you can make your screen bluer for all I care. Uh, just pass SCT and then a number greater than 5,000, like SCT 8,000. There you go, man. Uh, have at it. But in any case, this, I, I like using this utility because it's real quick 
to get going, I just fire up a terminal, type SCT, put in my default number. I normally default to about 2300 myself um, and call it a day. I don't have to worry about any menus like on other systems. You got to click around in the settings to find it. Um, now, one thing about SCT that is its most unfortunate bit is that SCT, the original, is actually only an X11 program. And I am running Hyperland here, which is Wayland. So what do I do? Do I just give up my love of SCT? No. Instead, I wrote a shell script wrapper uh, around this uh, SCT command using another program, another utility called WL Sunset. WL Sunset, Wayland Sunset, it's, it replicates this idea of uh, you know, being able to change your screen color temperature on Wayland. Um, and so how do I do this? My script here, if I open up my dot files is right around here. So um, I'm using Nix. So this is my config. Essentially all that's going on here is I have a script called SCT and this is the shell script. Now, one of the weird things about WL Sunset that Many people may like, um, I don't really like it that much, but WL Sunset, it automatically manages the screen color temperature based on the time of day. It's one of those like, you know, if you on another system, you check, you know, automatically change the, you know, colors to be warmer at nighttime. It's, it does sort of does that. And that's really all it does. When you're running the WL Sunset command, uh, there's a dash lowercase t for the lower temperature and a dash uppercase t for the higher temperature. So you can imagine this would make it a normal color around 5,000 during the daytime and it would make it a war much warmer color, 2400 I have here uh, during nighttime. But that's not the functionality that I like. I like just to you know be able to change it on a whim and manually control it. So for my script, what I do whenever I call this SCT wrapper is I kill all the WL Sunset uh, background processes because it's running as a background process. And then as long as an argument is passed, it takes that argument and uh, makes the high temperature be one above that argument and the low temperature be the argument itself. You got to calculate the plus one because WL Sunset doesn't really like being uh, given the exact same temperature. Um, yeah, it complains there. And so then it'll just run the WL Sunset command using uh, the variables declared. And you'll notice as well that I am, I've been uh, running these whoops, using uh, ampersand uh, greater than slash dev slash null, which essentially just says redirect any output of that command to null. So don't show it. And uh, I do this just because, you know, the extra stuff being written to my terminal is kind of annoying and I don't really need it there for any debugging kind of purposes. So we have that there. And then lastly, the original behavior of SCT is that if you call SCT with no arguments, it'll just revert your screen to the normal color that you expect. So in order to replicate that functionality, we just make sure WL Sunset is gone if there is no argument passed. So that's how this is sort of working here. I have uh, uh, this again, I've said on Nix OS, so this is my config for it, but you could definitely replicate this idea by just throwing the script into dot local slash bin like so and including dot local slash bin in your path variable, which is what most uh, most people sort of do that anyways, when they throw their custom scripts in there. Um, but one more thing I want to mention, WL Sunset is uh, one of the utilities that you can use on Wayland to achieve this uh, functionality. But there's actually another one that uh, actually I think runs both X and Wayland. Um, which if you want to check it out, this is go SCT. I don't use it myself, but that is another thing here that again, you know, all of these utilities are really amazing utilities. They're, uh, these utilities that again, they, they reduce the color temperature of your screen, make it oranger and 
this can really, really help you uh, not mess up your circadian rhythms and uh, help you get better sleep at night. So I really recommend tools like this. And if you're sitting on Linux, you better be, you know, getting some command line utilities too, so you can look cool. So um, anyways, that's it for today. I hope you uh, learned something from this video. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, thumbs up and comment. If you dislike the video, please leave a dislike. Let me know why you disliked it in the comment section. And if you uh, really like this uh, kind of content that I'm starting here on the channel, please subscribe. I, I'd uh, love to have you around for some more videos. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you around.